Welcome to my channel. You know that I've done videos before about Fannie Willis. Well, today we're going to do another one. Um, it looks like she's in much worse trouble than I thought. And it's apparent or possible that she and her lover, Mr. Wade, may have lied under oath. But before we get to that, I have to thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them, for commenting, for sharing. Thank you most of all for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I'm amazed by the growth. I'm amazed by the number of people who want to hear what I have to say. And I really enjoy the interaction in the comments. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This popped across my desk today. Um, you may be familiar from my previous videos that uh, one of the co-defendants of Trump's lawyers has uh, <coughs> filed a motion to remove Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade from the case. If you're not familiar with this, uh, Fannie Willis is the uh, district attorney for Fulton County in Atlanta, and Nathan Wade is the special prosecutor that's involved in the case where they're trying Trump for election interference in Georgia. And uh, she's using Georgia RICO stat statutes to do that, which is seems like a bit of a stretch. But <coughs> um, be that as it may, the case is ongoing. Uh, but recently some things have come up and it's, um, it's looking like Miss Willis and uh, Mr. Wade may not be able to continue the case. The, uh, the lawyer for Trump's co-defendant has asked that they both be, both be removed and that the Fulton County District Attorney's Office not be allowed to pursue the case for reasons that will become apparent if you follow my uh, videos on this and especially this one today. But uh, this same lawyer that filed the previous motion has now filed a second motion on Friday, it says, identifying a witness who can testify that Fulton County District Attorney and prosecutor and the prosecutor she hired began a romantic relationship before they pursued the election case, refuting sworn testimony. Now, I don't know whose sworn testimony that is. It has to be either Fannie Willis or Henry Wade or both. But whoever did, uh, they'll probably lose their bar license over this if it's proven. In the 122-page filing, Mr. Roman's lawyer sa said a former associate of Prosecutor Nathan Wade would refute the prosecutor's timeline of his relationship with Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis recently admitted under oath to having a personal relationship, which Mr. Wade said began after the election case began in 2022. So that makes it sound like uh, Willis admitted to the relationship, but Wade was the one who, who perjured himself and said it only began after the election case had started. However, this timeline will be refuted by Terrence Bradley, a lawyer and member of the Georgia Bar, who is a former associate of Mr. Wade, according to this filing. Mr. Bradley, who the filing asserts has non-privileged personal knowledge, will testify that the alleged relationship began in January 2021 before Ms. Willis was sworn in as Fulton County District Attorney. Now, I'm going to put the link in the description, and you can read the rest of the article yourself. But let's be honest. Even if Fonnie Willis hasn't lied under oath, which apparently one of the two of them has, according to this attorney, and that will have to come out in court one way or the other. Either they did or they didn't. Uh, but even if she didn't lie under oath, she had an affair with this man that began before the case was started. And if you read later in the article, even before she was at uh, the district attorney, so when she became district attorney, she was already in an affair with this married man. And then she hired him to be the special prosecutor on the case, even though he wasn't qualified to try such a complex case. So I, I just don't see any way that she can get out of this. This, this 
to me, this appears to be the end of it. This is going to this is going to destroy any chance she had of um, continuing the case and maintaining her position because it's just too much. It's all coming out in the public and she's going to have to deal with it. And it's, it's a mess. It's a real mess. And by the way, she's also been, uh, she's had 22 articles of impeachment filed against her in the Georgia house. So She's got more troubles than Carter's got liver pills. That's an old expression from my childhood. Look it up on the web. I think you can still find it. But anyway, uh, it's a mess. It's a real mess. And it makes you wonder, what were they thinking? Did they really think they could get away with this? It, it's, uh, it makes me think of Shakespeare. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we set out to deceive. It is what it is. And now she's going to have to deal with it, and it's going to destroy her career and her reputation, and his career and his reputation. And it may end up putting them both in jail. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to give you that update. So for all of you who watch my channel, who view my videos and are watching this video, I pray that you will live an abundant life. I pray that you will be healthy and that you will live a long life. And I pray that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.